Hi, welcome to Wilson's Weekday Wines. Today we have another Dutcher Crossing wine. This is their Proprietor's Reserve 2016 Syrah. And there is a ton, a ton of dark fruit on the nose in this wine. Wow. I just want to, I just want to inhale deeply. A bit dry for a Syrah. Um, I think I get some blueberry. I get some kind of old leather maybe. No spice really. Yeah, blueberry and blackberry. But boy, really really puckers the mouth. It's really, really dry for a Syrah from what I, I recall from other Syrahs. Still good, just not quite what I'm expecting. Long finish. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of this wine because the price point. This is a $34 a bottle retail wine. And with the discount when I ordered this, I got it for $31. I mean, you could not get this in a wine shop for anything less than like 50 bucks. This kind of taste, excuse me, complexity, body. I mean, look how dark that is. Good bottle of wine. I mean, I drink this again. I'd serve this to guests. I would definitely showcase this as one of the better bottles of wine to open with a night where you're entertaining. Yeah, I'd say this continues the the Dutcher Crossing fan base that I have. Hopefully you've checked them out if you've watched any of these videos. Um, the 2016, you know, a few years in the bottle, so Maybe some complexity from that, but man, that nose, so full and rich. Hmm, I love Syrahs too. So, I mean, this is my typical Rhone varietal favorite from the channel. If you watch the channel, you know that I really like Rhone varieties and Zins. Mm-hmm. Good bottle of wine. Now, if it were more expensive, I think I might hesitate and say, well, you know, maybe it doesn't have the depth and complexity I'm looking for at that price point, but for 30 bucks, $31 with a discount, I would stock my cellar with this stuff and see how it is in a few years. So, Dutch or Crossing Proprietor's Reserve Syrah 2016. I definitely recommend it. I I think just the nose alone, sitting and enjoying that. I've had it open for about an hour. I think it's opened up a little bit. I wouldn't say it's that much different than it was when I first opened it. But yeah, I'm a fan and um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. So with that, hope you are enjoying the channel and checking out a lot of Rhone varietals and some of the uh, wineries that we profile that are in my wine club and try to expand your horizons. And if you're a, a Rhone varietal fan, then hopefully I'm telling you some things you should try and you should check them out. So with that, cheers. See ya.